Hi, I'm Bradley, and thanks for joining us today. In this episode, we're going to be discussing the slope gauge and how to properly mount it. Coming up next. Before we get started, I want to ask you to mash that subscribe button and hit that notifications bell. That way, you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. Now, let's get started, and you'll see what we've been up to. I've seen some people mount them here or here. And I'll explain why that's not so accurate. Rather than trying to explain trigonometry, I'm going to build a test jig that will accurately represent what actually happens when you change the mounting angle of the slope gauge. Depending on which portion of the dash you mount your slope gauge on, it's either 30 degrees off the vertical, which gives a somewhat skewed reading, or 60 degrees off vertical for the portion of the dash below the steering wheel. That will give you the most skewed readout. Let me show you. And this is our control. You can see this is reading pretty close, 0.35 degrees. Certainly good enough for this test. So let's go ahead, now that we have the 30 degree angle set on our slope gauge to simulate the one portion of the dash, let's go ahead and test this on an actual slope. So this is going to simulate our 30 degree slope. We're going to put this on here. Now you can see this is pretty darn close, 29.40 degrees. And our slope gauge is now reading about 35 degrees, meaning that you think you're on 35 degrees according to your slope gauge, but you're actually only on a 30 degree slope. So it errs on the side of caution, and it's actually a good thing. You're not going to be on a steeper slope than you think you are, but you have a few degrees yet of capability. Now we're going to simulate what placing the slope gauge on the section of the dash right below the steering wheel, which is 60 degrees off the vertical, would look like and how it would affect the reading. To do that, we're going to flip this triangle around and that will give us a 60 degree difference off the vertical. Now that we have this set up to 60 degrees, let's do a simulated slope test. Once again, we're reading about 30 degrees on the actual slope, but almost 50 degrees on the slope gauge itself. And as you continually depress this angle, ultimately down to 90 degrees off vertical, that could give you a 90 degree reading, even though you're on a zero degree slope. Luckily, mounting your slope gauge in either of these two locations will give a false reading of being on a steeper slope than you're actually on. I hope it did a good job with this demonstration and showing you the importance 
of trying to mount the slope gauge as vertical to gravity as possible. Again, this wasn't very scientific by any means, but it does provide some valuable information and clearly shows that mounting the slope gauge on a sloped surface will give a false reading, but won't put you in any danger exceeding a slope that you shouldn't be on. If you're enjoying these videos, I'd greatly appreciate if you take the time to like and subscribe to our channel, hit that notifications bell, and we upload new videos, you'll be the first to know. I'm Bradley, thanks for joining us, and have an awesome day.